Do you look longingly into restaurants but don't have anyone to eat with? Do your friends leave you on red? Well, not anymore! Introducing Ohitori-sama! It means solo customer in Japanese. Now there are restaurants in Japan that are exclusively designed for Ohitori-sama like you! Who needs friends when you have Ohitori-sama? Today I'm going to be checking out places where you can go eat solo. In Japan that's actually really quite common, but there are some restaurants that are still a little bit more geared toward group dining, like foods that you share normally. But today we found some restaurants that are usually meant for a group, but you can actually go to alone. So let's go check out those restaurants. And honestly, normally you think eating alone, you go to eat ramen, but in this case, no ramen, but some really cool, interesting new restaurants to try solo. Let's go check them out. My first solo stop of the day is Yakiniku at Yakiniku Laiku. This is a particular Yakiniku place that is designed for people to eat solo specifically. So you get a mini grill. And it's only one minute from Ebisu Station and it's open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Crazy hours, so that means you can eat Yakiniku any time of day solo. This is so cool. I've actually never been to a solo yakiniku restaurant before ever. So I'm really surprised at how it actually looks. You get little solo booths and there's a little tiny grill in front of you. It feels kind of like I'm at a desk. So they have a lot of different yakiniku sets to choose from. Not all of the beef is wagyu, but I just found one set that is wagyu ribs and beef tongue and skirt steak set, which looks and sounds pretty good. You get a chance to have very affordable Wagyu beef. Let's give that a try. So now this screen appeared. It tells me to bring my like card or number tag. It says pick up here. This is fun. It's very DIY. Look, the table fits the tray perfectly. It looks amazing. It comes with a soup over here. This one is the beef tongue. They've cut it really, really thinly. For those of you who don't really like tongue very much and feel it's a bit too tough, this should be quite tender because it's really, really thinly cut. This one here is the Wagyu ribs, and the one here is the beef skirt. So let's start grilling with our handy dandy tongs right here. Oh, it's grilling up really well. Okay, this one looks Done. Let's choose our dipping sauces. They have a wide variety to choose from. Kochujang, grated garlic, ginger sauce, fresh soy sauce. This one is miso sauce. Actually, I love a good miso sauce. I'm gonna go with miso. And I think ginger is gonna be really good too. Okay, let's give this a try. I'm gonna start with the wagyu rib. Ooh, that looks delicious. Let's give it a try. Itadakimasu. Mm-hmm. It's super tender. It's got that nice charred barbecue taste. It goes really well with the rice and with the miso sauce. Let's try the beef tongue. Let's see how it is. Mmm. It's also really meaty. You'd think that thin of a slice almost would be nothing, but it's still like really meaty and firm. But yeah, it's really good. Oh, that looks really good. Look at the oils on this. Mmm. That looks so good. All in all, this was a really fun and unique experience, and it's a super affordable way to have a quick grilled meat yakiniku lunch or dinner or breakfast. Like, whenever you want to eat it, you can just pop in. So, this is a great idea. I'm glad I checked it out. Let's try out another Hitori Sama solo restaurant. Let's go see what we can find. My next Ohitori Sama visit today is right here at Shabu Shabu Lettuce Shokudo. And lettuce is supposed to be like let us, um, but it might be a play on words. Normally hot pot is a sharing sort of affair, but this one they actually give you a one person sized hot pot so you can enjoy Shabu Shabu hot pot all by yourself. 
What's really cool about this place is it's all you can eat, and the price is quite affordable. There's a couple of different courses you can choose from, so I think I'm gonna get this basic course, which is an all-you-can-eat aged pork with fresh seasonal vegetables, and it's only 3,600 yen. I think that's a really good price. You can choose whatever soup base you like, and you can choose whatever appetizers you like, as many as you like, and whatever shime, which is the, the finish. And they have a lot of different soups to choose from that look really, really good. But what they recommend is the ultimate Japanese soup stock. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Ooh. Wow, arigatouzaimasu. This is gorgeous. This is the sauce corner. There's a lot of different sauces to choose from, which is really cool. So you can customize your meat and your soup. If you get the really basic soups, you can add sauces to your hot pot directly, so you can kind of change the flavor of your soup as well. And I think it's very cool. For the regular dashi soup that I have, they recommend a couple of different sauces. One of them is a spicy sesame sauce. And in order to make it spicy, you take their regular sesame sauce, and then you add some nayu to add some spice and some garlic. I'm back in my seat now. The soup is boiling. It smells really good. Umami rich, kelp based, bonito based, something like that. Let's just dig in and start with some pork shabu shabu. So for those of you who don't know, shabu shabu is actually an onomatopoeia, which means splash, splash, basically. So you really just splash the meat a couple times into the soup and then it's ready to eat. So now let's dip it in our sauce. Let us try the shabu shabu now. Here we go. Mmm, that is really darn good. The pork shabu shabu, nice and tender. The sauce is fantastic. Those of you who like sesame sauce, it's like really creamy, nutty, it's delicious. But when you add the chili oil, it gives it a nice kick. The garlic, of course, rounds it off really well. It's super good. Let's go in and try some veggies. So we'll just do a quick dip. Lettuce at lettuce. And let's dip it in the ponzu. Here you go. Mmm, what? That is so good. The key to the lettuce and the leafy greens is you just wanna do a little splash so it's still really crunchy and fresh tasting. And it goes really well with the ponzu because of that citrusy, yuzu-like fragrance. It's just like, it's very lemony, very citrusy. Finally, the shime. There's a couple of different options to choose from, which makes it really exciting. And you can also choose more than one. There's also a sesame sauce noodles, which I think sounds really good. So let's try the sesame sauce noodles. There you go. It tastes more like a ramen soup mixed with dashi, a little bit of sesame sauce. That's really good. Now it tastes like a ramen. There you have it. That was the meal. What an amazing Ohitori-sama course. We actually have one more place to check out after this. So I'll finish this up and I'll meet you guys over there. My last stop of the day is a quaint little cafe in Shimokitazawa called Blikie Button. In Japanese, it's pronounced Buriki Botan, but it's a Dutch word that means tin can. So it's kind of like a tin can of buttons, and the interior of the cafe is supposed to be very cute and quaint, and just perfect for somebody to go in solo. So apparently there's a story that goes with this cafe, and it involves first being attracted to the cafe from the mysterious dolls that are outside in the windows, and coming up the mysterious stairway and then discovering the cafe right here which has an adorable sign that's spelled with actual buttons and little stationery it's very cute very homemade and it makes you kind of wonder like what is inside so let's open the door and kind of jump into a new little world let's check it out konnichiwa sugoi kawaii cafe desu ne Oh, it's so cute. It does feel like I've jumped into a different world, almost like Alice in Wonderland. And here, it's a ohitori-sama seat. It's for one person and it's like a solo desk. You get like pencil crayons. People draw pictures here, that's so cute. Oh. 
ご来店ありがとうございますありがとうございます、はい、メニューの方失礼いたしますね、はい、こちらが本日のおすすめのランチメニューになりますでこちらがドリンクのメニュークリームソーダのメニューそして最後デザートのメニューですね食事で一番のおすすめはやはり当店はこのとろとろ卵とチーズのオムライスがすごい見た目も可愛くて美味しいのでおすすめですいいですねありがとうございます,、はい、いいす Alright, so since the recommended meal that's very popular here is the o m u r a i s or the o m e l e t rice I'm gonna try one of those It's got cheese and o m u r a i s and tomato sauce But also they are known for their desserts here as well And apparently, one of their most popular desserts is this creme brulee. And it's called Amelie's Creme Brulee. And if you'll notice, the poster for Amelie is right over there. And they've recreated the creme brulee that Amelie eats in the movie. If it's popular, you might as well give it a try. So while I'm waiting for my food,、um, I've learned that each window nook that's really cute here actually has a different theme. And so my window nook is imagining an artist's mini studio. So there's like painting. Uh, there's like paintbrushes, there's pencil crayons, little notebooks you can draw. So you can kind of feel the artist vibes in this one. So it's all very nostalgic, and the overall impression that they're trying to give with the atmosphere in this cafe is the atelier, or kind of the craftsman or artist's studio in an older Western style building. My food is here, it looks amazing, and I also had time to draw the Buy Food logo. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I had time for. I thought I'd draw more, but so far that's what I've got. So we've got some art in my artist corner, and let's dig in. Let's try the really incredible looking o m u r a i s Also, the cream decoration, it looks so, so beautiful. Very whimsical. Itadakimasu! Wow, the tomato sauce is really rich. This is like real tomato sauce that it's just bathed in. I guess it's got risotto vibes a little bit. It's very good. It was quite unique, I'd say, different from all races I've had before. But now it's time to try the homemade creme brulee. That looks so good. The sugar on top is nice and crisp, and it broke into satisfying little pieces. It looks really creamy. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, the sugar is so crunchy and toasty. I love that about creme brulee. And the inside, it's a wonderfully creamy custard. It's really, really delicious. So I finished my meal and my drawing actually. So now my napkin actually says Japan by food, and it's signed by me, the producer Ellie, and our cameraman Esteban. So, if you guys ever come here and you happen to find this napkin, it might be buried in here somewhere. I think you'll have good luck. It's a lovely cafe, the food was wonderful, and of course, you can enjoy eating by yourself here and drawing pictures, which is a lot of fun. And all in all, I loved exploring the Ohitori sama that you can find in Tokyo. There's a lot of them, so if you guys ever come to Tokyo, please make sure to try an Ohitori sama at least once, especially if you're traveling solo. And yeah, don't feel lonely about it. It's totally normal and it's a fun thing to do when you're in Tokyo. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys would like to try Ohitori sama in the comments down below. See you guys in another video. Bye!